Hi there everyone, it's Siskiyou2000 again, and I'm here today with a review. I haven't done a review in quite a while, um, but I'm going to do another knife review today. Um, today is going to be the uh, fairly new uh, Benchmade 940-2, or the 942 is the best way to say it, um, Osborne Design Knife. Um, you know, I've had a lot of, of 940s um, o over the years, and uh, you know they're honestly one of my favorite styles of knife out there. Um, not just because of uh, aesthetics, I guess, but actually just overall functionality as well. I mean, I love the modified reverse tanto blade. Um, you know, the one thing that's really beautiful about about this blade style is that you know it has an extremely reinforced tip out here. So you can pry open paint cans and screw in screwdrivers and things like that. Um, so you don't have to worry about the tip breaking off as often. But you also just get a huge amount of belly for slicing. Right, see that? So, you know, this you know rivals any of the other good slicing um, knives out there. And you get it all in a very nice slim package, right? So a super tiny knife. I think this one comes in at uh, 2 point six ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, you know, I've had every other production 940 as well. So the standard 940, which comes with the, the green aluminum scales, I think you can get one with black aluminum scales. Um, the 940-1, which I have, it's a very expensive knife. I, I think it's a little bit overpriced for what it is. Um, but, and then they just recently came out with this, which is the 940-2. Um, and so this has G10 scales, you know, that kind of differs it from um, the 941 and the original 940. Um, and it also has uh, kind of open back spacers, or at least the two um, spacer barrels, so you have a little bit more room to get in there and clean. I don't know if I can show that very well there. Um, so this is very similar to the 941. Um, I think the 940-1 just has blue barrel spacers in there. Um, same design overall. Now with the G10, they, or at least with the 942, they have done a few things that are a little bit different in comparison to the other two models. So one, um, you, they kind of changed the look up of the, I guess the indentation or whatever it is here. I don't know if I can get it in the light. Um, it's not as steep of an indentation, which I kind of like. Um, you know, I, I mean, it doesn't really has no functional purpose other than just kind of um, being there, but yeah, you know, I, I like that. Um, and then also, I don't know, I can't seem to recall if there was this kind of jimping on the back of the other two models. So I'll, I'll check them out a little bit later, but that feels new to me for some reason. So that, that seems to be a little bit of a, of a different thing. So, um, you know, again, you get the G10 scales, you get the open back spacers, you get a little bit smaller of a design, but otherwise it's just like any other 940 out there. Um, it's really easy deployment with the thumb studs. Uh, one of the reasons that I love manual knives is that you can open and close them with one hand if you choose. This one's still a little stiff, um, but you can do it one-handed if you, if you want to go that route. Um, I will say one of the cons that I just kind of showed you is uh, Usually it takes a good, you know, one or two hundred times of actually opening up the knife before you can have it to the point where it just freely drops, which is kind of the ideal um, place to have it. So you got to work with it for a little while, um, but it will eventually smooth out and um, be a, a lot more ease of use, I guess, in that regard. Um, so this knife comes with uh, S30V steel. Um, and I think that's the same blade steel you get on the original 940, and on the 940-1 you get S90V. Um, S90V is kind of a bear to sharpen. I actually had to have my 940-1 professionally sharpened because um, it would have taken me days on a sharp maker to get it where I wanted. S30V is a little bit more manageable, so um, you can actually sharpen this. And this is one of the other big pros um, that have come with the, the, the newer designed um, Benchmades. Um, I was speaking to a representative not too long ago. One thing I, I, I've always hated, I guess, about Benchmades is they have wonderful, wonderful knives, but they always had horrible edges on them. 
I think their edges came in around 60 degrees inclusive. Um, and so the individual that I was talking to said that within the last year or so, um, they've refined their sharpening techniques. So now their edges are more of a 30 to 40 degree inclusive. And so I checked it out, and, and at least on this 940, which is a 2016 year model year, um, it does seem to be pretty close to 30 degrees. So um, that, that makes me a lot happier. Um, you get much sharper edges on that. Um, and you know, the other reason I like 30 degrees is because you know my, my sharp maker is already set for 30 degrees, so you know I don't have to do a lot of work or reprofiling in order to touch up the blade if I ever want to. So um, the knife angles are coming out a lot better, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, again, back to the blade steel. Uh, S30V is, is you know a little bit easier. It's still harder than some of the other um, blade steels out there to sharpen. Like 154CM is just you know, butter to sharpen, but you have to do it a lot, right? You know that's that's the the contrast that you get. Um, harder steels hold an edge longer, but they're they're more of a pain to work with in terms of sharpening. Um, so the other thing that I think is really uh, great about this model in particular is the balance. Like you know, they got the balance right on with the 940-2. Um, I'm going to try it here. I'm probably going to end up dropping it on my computer, but you know, I can I can show you maybe if I put it in there. Um, it's right on. You know, it's right where you want the center of balance to be. The uh, original 940 I think comes in at like 2.8 or 2.9 ounces. Still extremely light. But it, it's a little bit handle heavy, um, so I, I noticed that the center balance on the original 940s is kind of back here a little bit, whereas this one is like right at, at the point there. And then the 940-1, since it's carbon fiber scales, um, it's almost too blade heavy. So you, know, you put it here, and especially that, that S90V steel, I don't know if there's any difference in weight between S90 and S30V, but either way, um, the the 2.4 ounce um, 940-1 is just you know way too blade heavy. Um, so I, I use it more as sort of this gentleman's carry if I'm wearing like a fancy suit or something. Uh, but this one's right on in, in terms of the balance, um, and I think its weight again I don't know if I mentioned it uh, comes in at 2.6 ounces. Um, so yeah, and that's really good. Um, so, and another plus side of these G10 scales, I know I'm kind of scatterbrained now, but they don't share, show wear as much as the aluminum scales would. You know, eventually over time, you know, you're going to get those kind of lines in the aluminum scales that kind of move with contour. Now, personally, I find that really pretty in a knife, and you know, it shows that you're actually using it as a tool like it's supposed to be. Uh, but, you know, there are folks out there who want to keep a uh, knife as pristine looking as possible. Um, and, and so this is one way to do that. So get the G10 scales, you won't have as much of a problem there. It, it takes a lot to get wear to show on G10. Um, so you know, otherwise, you know, it, it's a fantastic knife. And, you know, I would highly recommend any of the 940 series to people out there, especially you know, first-time knife buyers or anything. Um, and just look how thick that blade is too. You know, they, they've cut weight by by tapering it down, but you know you actually get a pretty thick blade in there. So it's you got some substance. Um, so any of the 940s are, are exceptional knives. Um, any of the production 940s, um, but this one I think is probably going to make its way into my regular carry um, knife because you know, it's just there's there's nothing wrong with it. You know, and there's nothing I have to worry about. There are a couple issues. I am a little concerned that the G10, it's not very textured. I mean, you can see that there's some texture marks on there, but not really a lot to grip onto. So I imagine if this gets wet, it might be slippery or something. But, you know, that's going to be my own problem to deal with. Um, it's kind of the same story with the aluminum, too. If that gets wet, it's going to be super slippery. So um, it's just one thing that I think, you know, the scales are, are always going to be somewhat... Uh, smooth, I guess, on these sort of knives. Um, and, you know, the other issue, and this is kind of just a regular thing with Benchmades, I, I don't really like their original clips, um, so I always opt for a deep carry clip. Um, Benchmades, awesome, best customer service of any knife company out there, in my opinion. Um, they, they will send you a deep carry pocket clip for free if you just call and ask for one, um, so I would highly recommend you get one of those. 
And it's not it's not an issue of like me being scared of somebody seeing that I have a knife or something like that. It's more that the regular um, carry clip a chips off because it's just like black coated paint or something. Um, but also it doesn't drop the knife down deep enough. So almost on like a regular basis, if I'm carrying in my pocket, you know, my shirt will brush up against it and it'll pull the knife out and I'll end up dropping it on the ground or something. Um, that rarely, if ever happens, if I have a deep carry pocket clip. So um, look into one of those. Again, it's free um, if you just ask for one. Um, probably the only modification you ever need to do is to, to replace the clip. Um, but otherwise, fantastic knife, A plus by Benchmade. Um, they've done it again. So uh, just thought I'd let you guys know what I think and how this little knife is treating me. Uh, have a good rest of the day.